morning, Fruitville Pirates, and welcome to FVNN. Today is Monday, February 6th, and the 103rd day of school. I'm Logan. And I'm Arun. Now to Riley for the pledges. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Fruitville Pledge. I can be responsible, respectful, and resourceful with everything I do and say today. Thanks, Riley. Now it's time for Science Trivia. The number to call on your screen is 50612. Today we will be answering caller number three. The question is, a group of stars usually thought to form a certain shape in the sky is also known as a... <clears throat> the question is, a group of stars thought usually thought to form a certain shape in the sky is also known as a... Sorry, you're caller number one. Sorry, you're caller number two. Hello, whose class is this? Par uh, Miss Mayor. Who's Mayor. speaking? Mayor. Who's speaking? Parker. <laughs> Do you like space? Parker. <laughs> Do you like space? No. no. What's the correct answer? Constel constellation. Woo! <laughs> the answer is a constellation. Now to Logan for today's menu. Today we will be having Maza pesto flatbread, grilled cheese, UBR fruit and yogurt platter, tomato soup, celery with dip, cherry applesauce, raisins, apple juice. R. Thanks, Logan. That sounds delicious. Today is Mindset Monday. If something is easy for you, you are not learning from it. Have a growth mindset and try your hardest when schoolwork is challenging for you. If something is hard, it means you're learning. The Arctic Zone was a hit. We had dancing under the pavilion and we had dancing and we danced up a storm. Then we had white powdered sugar donut donuts with water. We could just relax and talk to our friends. Next, we had a relay race to build a snowman out of boxes, a hat, scarf, and sunglasses. That was fun. Then we had a snowball war on the basketball court. The team who got the most snowballs that were thrown at them won. Another game we played was hockey. Then the highlight of the event was sledding down the snow slide. It was something to see. All that snow and it was so warm outside. No need, no need of a ski suit, but it was a blast of Arctic fun. So thank you, Miss Hannah, for planning that event. And thank you to all parents and staff who helped with the PRP party. So the April 7th is the next PRP, PRP party. You want to make sure plans now to attend. You can't ha have tardy, tardy, you can't be tardy or unexcused or have unexcused absences. You need AR points and follow the three R's. The theme will be out of this world. Make sure you are reading the Sunshine Readers. They are AR. Make sure you read at least four so you can vote. IRA winners will be announced this week. Tomorrow is career day. Teachers, if you are hosting a guest, send someone to the media center to greet them at 8.30. Make sure you look at the schedule on OneNote to see which rooms you will be visiting. Teachers, we would like for you to do a favor for the yearbook club. We would like for each team to have about 30 pictures per grade level to put in the yearbook. For example, kindergarten, we would like pictures of the gingerbread man, Christmas around the world, and events like that. The yearbook club will be bringing a thumb drive for you to put your pictures on. So if you could organize those pictures, it would help us out. And the club will be taking pictures of students who are absent and some class rosters will still need to be verified. This week we will take a look at the rock cycle. We will be looking at sedimentary rock, igneous rock, and metamorphic rock. <clears throat> Rocks are rare in Florida. Unlike up north, where monstrous rocks are in pasturelands, meadows, streams, hills, and mountains. Stay tuned this week to learn more about the rock cycle. 
The yearbook is for sale for $20. Make sure you get your order in soon. Make checks payable to Fruitville School, or you can order online. Now it's time for Weird But True Facts. Did you know a house in England was built out of 20,000 used toothbrushes, 2 tons of old jeans, 4,000 old DVD cases, and other waste items? That's weird. But it's true. Now to Mr. Jaffe for some announcements. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Science Monday. Today is a great day to think about science. When can you see the moon? What a beautiful moon it was just last night, and as I have been able to see the moon during the day. But when can you see the moon? Well, in almost every 24-hour cycle, the moon is visible because it's circling our planet. If we look, go ahead, Logan. You're holding it. Okay. If you look at Logan holding this model, and look how the moon is always around the Earth. It's never anywhere except circling the Earth. To make it easier to understand what's happening, we break it into quarters. The first quarter is when the moon goes from between the sun to about a 90 to a 90 degree angle. That's first quarter. And when we see it at that moment, it looks half and half, a first quarter moon. The second quarter is as it moves from the half and half to a full moon, then from a full moon to third quarter, again back to half and half, and then finally back to between us and the sun. The thing to be aware of, though, is you notice the first two quarters, or these two quarters, it's really only going to be visible during the daylight hours. For the other two quarters, thanks, Logan, it's going to be visible during the um, shadow or nighttime hours. So for two of the weeks or two of the quarters, it's going to be visible during the night, and two of the weeks it's going to be visible during the day. The only time we really can't see it is when the moon is between us and the Earth. The shadow side is facing us, and we have the bright sun in the sky, so it's just not visible for about 24 hours. But during the rest of the four-week cycle, first quarter, second quarter, thanks, Logan, third quarter, and fourth quarter, going from new moon to first quarter to full moon to third quarter and back, the moon is always going to be visible. You just need to know where to look at it. All right, Mrs. Kane, and for the rest of the school, why is the moon so rich? What makes the moon so rich? Not the cheese. Why is the moon so rich? It always has four quarters. Aww. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Thanks, Logan. Thank okay. you, Mr. Jaffe. Homework club meets today. And Math Olympiad Club will not be meeting today. And thank you for watching another episode of FVNN. I'm Arun. And I'm Logan. We can have a marvelous Monday. See you on Wednesday.